<laughs> Colombia. So other part of the world, Colombia. Yeah, Colombia is one of those places that are considered emerging markets in the EFL field. Um, there's a huge, huge demand for qualified English teachers nowadays in Colombia. Uh, most of the jobs for teachers can be found in private schools and or private schools, they typically pay the best. And then you also get extra benefits such as housing, stipend and health insurance. So that's really great there. Salaries, um, as it is in Latin America, the salaries are not the highest, but also the cost of living is not the highest there. Um, so in Colombia, the salaries range between 700 and 1000 US dollars per month. And what a lot of teachers do, they take on private uh, tutoring students, you know, to private tutor to sort of um, top up their salaries. So that's what a lot of people do there. Um, for Colombia, you do need to be a native English speaker and you need to have a college degree and a TEFL certificate. And there's also no quarantine required anymore. But again, things change all the time, so it might change again. So just check that information before you go, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But anybody um, taught in Colombia before? I don't think. I think we have a lot of people like based in uh, Asia. But yeah, Colombia is a good option if you're interested in Latin America. The demand is very high. I'm just waiting if somebody's, because there is a 20 second um, uh, lack or a gap between me talking and then you seeing it live or on Facebook. So I don't want to jump too quickly if we get any questions or comments about it. But um, I think it looks like we're good. <laughs> okay. Also, how cool is this place? I don't know where it is, the picture. It is Colombia, but I don't know which place in Colombia. It looks amazing. If anyone has been there, let me know. Beautiful. <laughs> I sadly have not been yet. Okay, then I'm moving on. I think we're not getting any comments about this one now. Okay, then Germany. <laughs> oh, okay, let me go back to Colombia then. Now there are some comments coming in, sorry. Okay, Bita says, does an associate degree count as a college degree or do you mean a BA? Yeah, sorry, a bachelor's. So most of these are four year, four year degrees. There is a talk program in Korea where you can do this one after two years, so after an associate degree. Yeah, but usually, yeah, usually when I say college degree, I mean bachelor's degree, sorry. <laughs> Mm, Gwendolyn, how does the salary compare to the cost of living in Colombia? Um, yeah, so the cost of li living in Colombia is very low. So you will definitely be able to save a bit. However, there is no there are no extra benefits there. So you would have to pay for your own housing and things like that. So it can be a bit rough. So that's why a lot of people do, a lot, a lot of teachers there, you know, do top up their salary with the extra teaching, extra tutoring that they do, um, and things like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm trying my best. Thanks so much for answering so many questions. I'm trying my best. I have two laptops here. Um, so on one laptop are the slides and um, then on my, this laptop is like for the comments of the camera and stuff. So sometimes it can be a little hard and difficult to, you know, manage everything, but I'm trying my best. I don't want to, you know, leave anybody out, so. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.